Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial video on port folding using the Aris Modem TG1682. You can change the ports to forward Home Assistant, Xbox, Minecraft, whatever. Enjoy! So here's my Aris Modem. Let's check it out. Let's go here and check it out now. So we're going to log in. Admin, the password to the RS modem is actually on the back of the modem. And then we're going to click on firewall. From firewall, we're going to pick virtual servers, port forwarding. We're gonna click add. And we're gonna do home assistant. And the inbound port is gonna be 443 and we're going to translate that to 8123, which is the standard, that's the standard port for Home Assistant. And the private port is going to be the IP address of my Docker. So 168, uh, 192.168.10.10. And we are going to say, oh, wait, actually I made a mistake. So it's inbound port is 443 to 443. And then we're going to translate that over to 8123. 8123. So 443 is because I run SSL. The SSL connection is going to come in from the outside and then it's going to uh, get pushed over to the 8123 port of my home assistant. And I'm going to hit add server. So the nice thing about this NAT loopback is even from the inside, if I hit this external IP address on the inside, it'll still move the port over. So it'll move it over from 443 onto 8123, which makes it a lot easier in Home Assistant to just keep the standard port of 8123, even if you're using SSL. So I really like that feature. So here's our new port. Uh, I have to make some configurations to my Home Assistant to switch the ports. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna pull up my config. This is just using Atom. This is a great text editor. I used to use Notepad++, but this just allows me to grab my entire project. And the IP address, the, the configuration file, I'm gonna launch this. I'm gonna go to configuration file, and I'm gonna go all the way down to HTTP. So I had a secret uh, server port, and we're gonna actually just change this one to 8123, our good old fashioned standard IP address, uh, port rather. This is perfect. Uh, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna restart Home Assistant. Let's go ahead and log into Home Assistant. This is my Docker machine, so I'm just gonna putty over to it. And I'm just gonna do HA restart, which let me show you what that is. Just uh, if you run alias, I have this alias for HA restart which basically just does a Docker container restart pass and then launches my custom log. And logs is a Docker attach uh, to the hash. So it just gives me a real-time running console of my Home Assistant container. I do HA restart. So you can find links to all my code, including this configuration file in my GitHub repo. I'll put the links below in the, in the description. Of course, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe, share it. Um, that would be awesome. It's very helpful. So we can see, we can see Home Assistant booting up. This is what that log does. So that log command is pretty good when you're running Docker. So being able to connect to the console and see it come up, super helpful. So you can see I got some errors in here that I can sort out later on. Once my Home Assistant's up and running, I always get a little notification that says up and running. We're gonna connect over here and we're gonna go to our home assistant and click refresh. Excellent, and we're back up and running.